All right, here with uh, Tyler Saladino. Uh, Tyler, last year you got a full season of big league experience, or full half season, rather. Uh, what lessons did you take from that, and what can you carry over into 2016? Uh, for me, it was just taking in the whole experience, uh, just like any other level going, you know, rookie ball to A ball all the way, all the way through is just another step to where you're trying to um, learn the way the game's played up there, uh, the things, the ins and outs, and the things that, that um, watching the other guys and uh, seeing how, seeing what it takes to, to play up there and compete with those guys. Did you prepare any differently this off season than past years? And uh, is there one specific area that uh, perhaps you worked on more so than others uh, to get ready for the, the 2016 season? It's a completely different off season this one because last one I was rehabbing from the Tommy John. So spent the majority of last off season doing mostly rehabs, you know, based stuff and this off season, I'm able to actually get in there without, you know, there's nothing wrong. So I'm just working out and get all the strength back and everything like that. So completely different. It's good though. All right. As we stand here today on, on January 5th, shortstop appears to be your position to lose, or at the very least, you're in contention to be the White Sox starting shortstop. Does that change your mindset at all, or uh, does that you still prepare the same way you would ordinarily? Still prepare the same way. You know, you try to be consistent in everything you do. Um, it's exciting, though, because I, I love shortstop getting out there, running around, and I get a little stuck at third. Uh, but no, same, same preparation, just getting ready to go. So shortstop is, is naturally your most comfortable position, or is it something you feel more valuable perhaps as a kind of a super utility guy where you can contribute at not only short, but maybe third base, second base, you know, bounce around a little bit more? Yeah, I mean, it's, each position has its own role, you know, um, shortstop. I mean, you're, you're in the middle of the field. You got a lot more ground to cover. There's, you can see the pitches that are being called. You can see the interaction pitcher to catcher. There's so much, so much more going on. And, uh, you know, second place, second base turn, double place, third base, holding the corner down, whatever it is, you know, figuring it out and, and uh, doing the best you can while you're out there. Looking back last year, you kind of got thrown into the fire a little bit where you made your debut at Wrigley Field, big uh, crosstown series. Looking back, how memorable was it, uh, your first hit, being a big triple off of uh, John Lester in, in that hostile environment? Yeah, that was awesome. Uh, it was cool because it was in, in Wrigley, too. <laughs> so <laughs> and, uh, That place was great. It was a heck of a series, and it was exciting. It was the most exciting baseball I've ever played, and it's definitely, like you said, getting thrown in the fire. But uh, it was good. I'd rather it be that way than... Then you know a quiet game, and you know just get it get it all out there the first game. Well, last thing, growing up in Southern California, uh, skateboarding was a big part of your uh, your pastime. You got a big family pedigree in skateboarding. Can you talk a little bit about that, and also if there carryover between uh, the two sports, baseball and skateboarding, if there are skill sets that maybe kind of cross over? Yeah, it's funny you guys have been bringing that up. I never really thought about it, but. Riding a skateboard, you know, you got to have a lot of things going on, balance and rhythm and flow and everything like that. And I think that really does help out um, taking, you know, um, on the field with ground balls and, and um, you know, being able to make all the moves and things that you have to do while you're out there. Just a little bit, a little bit different athleticism that came from that. So, yeah, I definitely think that helped out. And last thing on that note, I re there's a story written last year about uh, your uncle Doug, I believe it is, who was kind of a skateboarding legend in Southern California. If you could talk a little bit about that and how that maybe affected your, your childhood upbringing. Yeah, it was just, I mean, the as far as the childhood goes, just outside the whole time, you know, skating, surfing, baseball, whatever it was, or just hanging out. Mostly, mostly, I mean, obviously baseball, but we were skating quite a bit. And, um, and it's all, all up and down. Southern California, you know, there's skate parks everywhere. So we'd make our way around and skate with my uncle. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. Cool, Tyler. Appreciate the time. Good luck in uh, the rest of this camp. All right, All right thanks. That hit it. <laughs>